Well, we know it's early on a Monday, but we need to be a little more enthused. You know one guy who brings the enthusiasm week after week, <laughs> motivational speaker, Pete Blank. Yes, he joins us in studio this morning with how to be more enthusiastic. Now, I love this subject because yes. I think like Jimmy V said, in order to get things accomplished, you have to do things with enthusiasm. You've got to have enthusiasm. And it's one of those words we don't use a lot. We talk about, hey, we're motivated. Hey, we're inspired. Hey, we're happy. But we get enthused about things like college football or, you know, things like that. But how can we be more enthusiastic during the day? So something we want to think about. Here's my definition, just so you know. Okay. It's not mine. It's, it's, it's as intense and eager enjoyment, interest, or approval. Intense and eager enjoyment. So you can enjoy doing something. You can have interest in something. Or you can approve of somebody else doing so, which is pretty cool. That's three different ways you know, that we can be enthusiastic. So I think of intense as like you're just taking up your normal emotions. You can be yeah. happy about something, yeah. kicking it up, kicking it a, up notch, a notch, take it to the next level. Kicking it up a notch. And here's a couple ways we can do that. Number one is we spend so much time focusing on the past. Mm -hmm. You know, what happened yesterday? What did I do wrong yesterday? What are the bad things that happened yesterday? And we need to get more focused on today. Okay, or, or tomorrow or the next day or something like that. That's what gets people really, really excited. So what are you looking forward to today? I'm looking forward to walking my dogs in 80 degree weather. <laughs> I mean, it sounds silly, yeah. but that's something you can be enthusiastic about. I'm enthusiastic about Wednesday night, the new show Farmer Wants a Wife, right here on Fox, 7 Central Wednesday night, <laughs> Farmer Wants a Wife. I'm enthusiastic about the SEC <laughs> basketball tournament. That's so, coming in, yeah. Okay, so we're looking ahead to we're, the future. Right, so we're doing that. The second thing I want us to be aware of is just worry less. Okay. Um, and again, not to go too biblical on you here, but Matthew talks about the idea that why worry about tomorrow? Tomorrow's got enough worry of its own. Focus on today. And we're worried about our kids. We're worried about our grandkids. You're worried about, you know, um, things that are happening, elder care. And you got to mentally get in a spot where, what am I so worried about the next few days for? Let me go ahead and focus on the moment I right now. I have to get reminded so just, about that. I know. Now, I know. the third thing, lower your expectations. That sounds kind of negative. It does. It does. And so I don't mean like shift the entire being that you are. What I'm saying is we're such a culture and a society that's focused on accumulating and achieving and accomplishing. And sometimes we get too stressed to be enthusiastic about everything because we think I'm not hitting my goals. I'm not doing. So lower your, you don't have to get everything done today. And I know I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth sometimes because mm -hmm. we want you to be goal focused and do great things, but that can also stress the heck out of you and you find a lack of enthusiasm because you're not achieving anything. So lower those, hey, my expectations today, I want to go home, I want to walk the dog, I want to watch a TV show, and then I want to sit on my couch. I'm enthusiastic about that. Okay, I'm now, enthusiastic. I have about one that. question for you. I yes. think this can relate to a lot of people. Let's do it. If you're not enthusiastic about something right. naturally, if you don't want to do something right. you know you're going to have to do, what are some tips to gain that enthusiasm and hopefully enjoy it? I get enthusiastic when I see other people enjoying something. So if my wife wants to do something that I don't want to do or my kids want to do something that I don't want to do, I got to shift out of the negative mindset of I don't want to do this into my enthusiasm will help someone else enjoy the moment. Whether that's a party you're going to, a wedding, a sporting event, anything like that, I want to see the joy in somebody else and that makes me enthusiastic about being all in. Well, great advice. Pete, you know what I'm enthusiastic what are you about enthusiastic in the next about? five minutes? What? Pizza tamales. Let's go. In the go. kitchen, it's going to be awesome. Ooh.